All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about recovery, at home recovery. What can you do from your own home to make sure your body is recovering as quick as possible? And this is a subject I'm very passionate about because there is so much time and money and energy that can go into recovering injuries. You know, if my shoulder's injured, how do I recover? Do I head off to the physiotherapist three, four times a week until it gets better? Or do I work on it at home along with my physiotherapy treatments? I found the latter to be much more effective. So today guys, I'm going to share with you the three tools that I use at home, which seem to make all the difference in my recovery. I recover from injuries so fast. I hurt my knee doing jujitsu. They told me eight week recovery. It took me two weeks. In my last fight camp, I ended up popping my Achilles tendon. They told me that would take probably six, seven weeks to recover. It took me one before I was back to running. And I really believe it's all because of these tools, these at home care that I utilize. So let's dive right into the episode guys. So I can show you how to heal yourself as quick as I do. All right guys, first off, the channel is doing so well. It's just popping and I'm so grateful to everybody out there who takes the time to give the video a like, to get subscribed, to throw a comment down below. And I just wanted to let you guys know the comment section is exploding in my videos. I do my best to try and get back to all your guys' comments, but it's taking me much longer now. Instead of getting through 20, 30 comments, I now sometimes have two to 500 to get back to. Obviously I can't get back to everybody, but I'm really trying to make it happen. And if I'm slow getting back to you, I apologize. It's really a priority of mine to make sure that I'm connecting with you guys. If you have questions, I'm there to answer them. So just be patient with me guys and I will do my utmost to get back to you. Now let's move on to the tools that we're going to be talking about today. I have tried probably over 20, 30 different devices on my body trying to figure out what works best, what is actually going to make a difference. And I definitely don't want to suggest anything to you guys that I don't use myself, which is why we're only talking about three tools today, even though I probably have 10 or 15 around the house. I just don't use them that much. So guys, the first tool we are talking about today is my Hydra gun. This is a massage gun. Now I used to go for massages all the time and I just found after a while that it was just getting overwhelming between the physiotherapy, the athletic therapy, the massage, the IMS. I couldn't make it to all these things. It was just wearing me down. It was like I do a training session and then I have to go to an appointment and then I have a training session and then I have an appointment trying to take care of my body. And after a while I just learned that okay you know what instead of going to the masseuse I find that this thing is just as effective. And what I really like about this is I can prioritize certain areas on my own like decide where I want to work but if it's somewhere like my back and I really want some work done on that but I can't reach it I just need my wife to get it on my back up and down up and down for 10 minutes I get back up and oh I feel so good so this guy's been going with me everywhere now one of the big things I noticed years ago with massage guns was the volume I went to my buddy's house we were watching a UFC event I had an injury he had a gun I was like oh can I try this out I threw it on and just bang 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 and we couldn't even hear the commentary so when I got this one and I turned it on, let's check it out here. Just pop it onto the first setting. And that's it. You guys can still hear me talk. Now it does go up in speed, of course, which is going to make it go that much louder. So we put it to setting number two. And then number three. And four. And five. And number six. This is as loud as it's going to go, but you guys can still hear me. A little louder once it starts banging off my arm. But I have been really impressed with this particular gun, the Hydra gun, for a couple different reasons. Number one, the battery life on it is amazing. I have had this thing for a while and I very rarely have to plug it in. I can put in almost a month of using it without having to charge it. The volume, as I mentioned, was a big factor and I love the fact that these little tips come off. Here's the bag here, the Hydra gun. It can be replaced with so many different tools. You want a flathead one, that's fine. You want something that's a little bit pokier to really dig in, you can get one of these guys. If all of those scare you, they have a nice cushy one here. There are actually six different prongs at the end, one with two. I don't really use this one much, but on either side of the spine, that one would work great. Have somebody run it up and down, your spine's right in the middle. It's just fantastic. I've been so impressed with this gun and just being able to take it everywhere because the bag is really small. It just fits right into my training bag. The only downside of this gun, which I will mention to you, is it is made in Australia. They have an amazing company over there doing great work with this, but the prong, 
right here to go into the wall is a different adapter. So I had to get, well, I didn't have to get, I already had a conversion adapter from when I travel around the world for my fights. Every time I go somewhere different, I had to have one of these. These are super inexpensive. You're talking 10, $20. And then I can just plug this into there. It goes into the wall. And the nice thing is if I need to take this for any of my fights, I can do it anyway. And yes, the adapter or being able to plug into the North American outlets, it's a bit of a disadvantage, but not enough for me to not recommend it to you guys. Mostly because of the lack of volume. That's the big thing for me. I can sit down, watch TV with my wife and not annoy her as I'm slapping away this thing on my body. Or if she's working on me, she turns it on me and she's working on my back, we can still talk. I've been very, very happy with this tool and I would definitely recommend it. If you guys wanna pick one up, just look at this super great kit. Uh, anyway, you can go to the link down below in the description pick up a Hydra gun, just amazing. And honestly, since I started using these, I really haven't been going to masseuses anymore. I mean, they definitely have their time in place, but investing in one of these has saved me so much time driving to and from massage appointments. I just really cannot speak highly enough about this device. Now, moving on guys, the next thing I wanna talk about, look at this, I got it in the palm of my hand. It's so small, it's so simple, it is a cup. I believe it's just more of a traditional Chinese medicine thing. It just slaps right onto the body, it just sticks there, and it basically sections on certain areas. Now I'm suffering from a back injury right now and I have been using this thing for the last two days non-stop along with my massage gun and the third tool we're going to talk about after. These ones I have found are so fantastic when I have knots or a certain little point in my body which is just really acting up and I very simply just put the cup right against my skin. I just lift an edge of it off. I push in and then when I release the suction is that much more strong and effective. And I'll just leave it there sometimes for 10, 15, 20 minutes as I'm walking around doing my normal thing. It doesn't affect any movement or anything like that. And there are different sized cups. I'm gonna throw a link down below if you guys wanna get a set of these. This is my small one. I also have a couple large ones around and just love it. I believe the science behind this, if I'm getting it correct, is if you have your muscles and they're all locked up and all gnarled together, all interwoven, what you're doing is you're drawing the muscles towards the surface which is going to cause them to lengthen out then once you take the cup off they can settle back down at that lengthened position and if there was any stagnant blood it draws that to the surface draws it out of those muscles which is why sometimes when people have cup rings you see people with these big black marks on their body that's what's happening it's just drawing out stagnant blood now sometimes I just had my cup on here this morning you can maybe see a couple little rings it didn't need it that bad in terms of drawing out blood but I've definitely put it on my back a number of times I love getting it way back in here and when I slap it on there a lot of times I'm left with those circles where inactive blood stagnant blood was drawn away from those muscles these ones go with me everywhere when I get on a plane I have them on when it's fight week I have them on anytime I have a little nagging injury it could be on my neck I just put it on there and I just let everything all the tension kind of draw away again I really like these ones at home because I feel like going for a cupping session is not really that necessary I have done it but I didn't feel it made much of a difference aside from this and just sitting on a table and having somebody cup you strictly, it just feels like a bit of waste of time to me. If they're cupping you and they're doing massage in between, that's great. But just putting one of these on, it's so simple. You can do it at home. And again, it's one of my three forms of recovery, which I use almost every day. And finally, guys, we'll get rid of that cup there. We are talking about red light therapy. This is the tool that I have been using longest. This, this is actually a new device, but I've been using red light therapy for the longest self-recovery process of anything. And that might surprise people, but I had somebody years ago who sponsored me with a device and I had killer back injury. And one of my practitioners said, you have to be using red light therapy. It's so important. All right, here we go, that's on. Now, explaining red light therapy to you. I am not an expert by any means. I don't know the science behind all this. I just know that when I've had injuries and I use this, whether it's on my knees, whether it's on my Achilles tendon, whether it's on my back, the recovery is phenomenal. Now, is that just me? recovering very fast because I'm just very athletic. I work very hard at eating properly. I don't do many bad things to my body except injuring them in training. Or is it because I'm implementing this and the massage gun and the cupping and all the other little things I do like cold therapy, cold ice bath. I'm not sure what to tell you, which is right, which is wrong, but I will tell you that I've been using this for so many years. I will not stop using red light therapy and I will throw a link down below. My wife has done a, an actual interview on her podcast. She has a great podcast where you can listen to the owner explain or the owner of this product explain to her what the benefits of red light therapy are and why this device is different and better than so many others I just love this wand I mean she has a she has a big panel it's about this big that just points at you you can utilize that too 
or you can just utilize this and I, you know it doesn't really matter i could take it and just sort of stuff it in my shirt put it on the injury just let it hang out there a lot of times if i'm watching a movie or something just throw my feet up and I'm just holding it right there as we're watching. There's so much time to recover when you're not worried about traveling here and there, back and forward, and you're just relaxing. And you can just very simply put this on without it really affecting your relaxing time. That's what I'm all about. Oop, there we go, that was a little beep just letting me know I've been through one cycle. I think we were trying to go for four on one area. But anyway, guys, we got the cups. We got the massage gun and we have the red light therapy. These are the tools that I've been using to recover for so many years. I would not recommend them to you if I didn't believe that they were super, super valuable. If any of these tools are interesting to you guys and you want to get one, there's links down below. You can grab them. I have promo codes down there so you guys can save a little bit of money. I can make a little bit of money, which is super appreciated, but really, if you guys know anything about the channel, you know I just want to give back to you guys. I just want everybody out there to be able to learn more about the sport I love, to get in better shape and have fun. And of course, now we're talking about recovery, how to stay fit and healthy so we can continue doing what we love, feeling good all the time in the process. That's all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you haven't already, get subscribed. Train hard, guys. Remember to work on your recovery, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.